page 139. Main ideas. Exercise 1. Hello again. I'm Sue Fujimura. And I'm Jim Goodman. And we're speaking to you from a boat somewhere between Cuba and Key West, Florida. As everyone knows, Diana Nyad is trying for the fourth time to swim from Cuba to Florida. After 51 hours in the ocean, she's still swimming, even though things are not going very well. Yes, as you can hear, it's raining very hard and it's very windy. Unfortunately, the wind is pushing Diana very far off course, and that means she will have to swim much longer to get to Florida. She also has jellyfish bites all over her body, and they're making her feel very sick. Yes, she's swimming slowly now, and her body is shaking. And is she having problems breathing? I think she is. That's also because of the jellyfish. They are very dangerous. You know, most swimmers give up if they get a few jellyfish bites, or if the weather is as as terrible as it is right now. But just look at Diana. How does she do it? I know. She really is amazing. You know, long distance swimming is so difficult, even in good conditions. That's very true. Diana called it the loneliest sport in the world. I mean, she is all alone out there in the ocean for days. It's also difficult because it's boring. She has to move her body the same way again and again for so many hours. That is really hard. It sure is. So I want to tell people how Diana pushes herself to keep going after so many hours and days of swimming. Diana doesn't only train her body, she also trains her mind. Diana knows how to clear her mind, so when she's swimming, she doesn't think about anything. How does she do that? She does a kind of meditation. When Diana is swimming, she counts from 1 to 1,000 in four different languages. English, French, Spanish, and German. She does that over and over. She also knows a lot of songs. When she finishes counting, she sings those songs in her mind, sometimes one or two thousand times. Can you imagine that? But Diana says that when she counts and sings, she can't think about anything else. And when her mind is clear, she can keep swimming for a long time. That's interesting, because scientists say that for long-distance sports, training the mind is more important than training the body. That's probably why Diana said that long-distance swimming is not a young person's game. Right. Older people can train their minds more easily. So even when Diana's having a lot of problems, like now, she can keep swimming. She doesn't let the problems stop her. To Diana, problems are just challenges, and she likes challenges. That's right. People also say that Diana Nyad has no fear. I mean, even though there are sharks in this ocean, she is swimming without a shark cage to protect her. No shark cage. Who does that? <laughs> she's really not afraid of anything, and she's so determined. I mean, she's 62 years old, and she's trying to set a new long-distance swimming record for the fourth time. How many people are that determined to do anything? I think we can agree that Diana Nyad is much more than an amazing swimmer. You know, a lot of people say that because of Diana's example, they chose new goals in their own lives and pushed themselves to reach them. Yes, I think many people have learned a lot from Diana, especially older people. She really shows people that it's never too late to have a goal. Oh no, Jim, look, Diana is swimming over to her boat. She's talking to her coach and her doctor. Oh no, 
there pulling her out of the water. I hope she's okay. We'll be back in just a moment with the latest information on Diana Nyad. Okay, guys, uh, sorry, although it's too long, but it's very informative. I want you to listen carefully of this, giving the main. What I want you from you, what I want from you is that three things. Number one, I want you to make the main idea of what you have heard, and you can find it at the end of your book. Second, I want you to solve uh, the exercise number two and choosing the best word or phrase to complete the each sentence number three I want you to uh, solve the exercise details about true and false to correct those material okay those are on pages 139 and 140 uh, on, on your books hope you can find it and thank you so much